welcome to my 454 AM motivational speech for today. And that is get your workout in today. Move your body today. Take my lead, take my motivation to get out and move your body. I am on my way to boot camp as always. It is 62 degrees this morning, which is amazing. It's much, much cooler in the mornings now at boot camp, which is great. I get a little less sweaty, like my hair isn't as soaking wet after boot camp now that it's a little bit cooler. But I will say that it stays dark a lot longer. It is dark for almost all of boot camp. So in the winter months, it doesn't really start getting light until the last maybe 10 minutes of our boot camp. And luckily where we work out outside has lights everywhere. It's a park and a skate park. So we can see, but it's still dark outside. So it's interesting to see as the weather shifts, how much darker it is at boot camp. And it's going to be a lot colder as the months go on as well. But I am ready. I am excited. I'm energized for my morning workout. I made my protein coffee as always this morning. I did drink about half of my protein coffee. I'll finish that up when I get home today. I have a pretty busy day today. Troy's going to be gone with his dad for a big chunk of the morning. So we'll kind of have the house to ourselves. So I have some updates to share with you guys. I have a really good dinner recipe planned for tonight. So let's get this workout in. Let's start our day off on an active, healthy foot. Go home and have some healthy breakfast. So I will see you at breakfast. So I'm ready for the day and I am ready for some breakfast. I am channeling all my fall vibes today with my earrings that are from Timu and my little shirt from Timu. These are all from my most recent haul. If you missed that video, I will link it down below for you, but I'm getting ready to have some breakfast. So we're going to have my frittata. I actually made this for meal prep this week. It's a butternut squash sausage bacon, cheesy vegetable goodness frittata. We're gonna try this out. I have, as you can see, I haven't tried it yet. I just made it in my meal prep. And then I do have a few peaches that I need to eat up. And then I bought some pre-cut up watermelon. So I'm going to have a little fruit with my frittata. So here is my breakfast. So I cut my frittata into the eight servings. So this is a good size serving. You can see it's packed with butternut squash, sausage, bacon. Really excited for this. And then I have some peaches and some watermelon. Oh, we're fogging up from the heat. But as a side with breakfast. So let's quickly try the frittata together. Like I said, I have not tried this yet. That's really good. I taste the squash, which kind of gives a little bit of a sweetness with the savory of the bacon and the sausage and the eggs and the bell pepper. There's lots of cheese in here, so it's super cheesy. Really good. Definitely a must make. So I just finished my breakfast, mixed up my Motivate Recovery from my workout, and I wanted to remind you guys about the Motivate Energy Bundle. I've been getting a lot of questions on Motivate in general, what supplements I take. I actually did an entire video on the supplements that I take that have helped me lose weight and maintain that weight loss, what I utilize for exercise and fitness. I will link my supplement video down below, but I actually mix up Motivate Recovery every day after my workout. Right now I have the pineapple mango. It also comes in kiwi strawberry. I actually have both on hand, but I'm using up my pineapple mango. The recovery has BCAAs, EAAs, L-glutamine, Hydromax electrolytes, magnesium, sodium, potassium, the citrulline, which provides fuel for your muscles. The recovery formula is perfect for nourishing your muscles, allowing for faster recovery. It has ultimate hydration, supports faster recovery, helps with endurance, and helps enhance muscle repair. So for me, I like to take it after my workout because it has the BCAAs and the EAAs, it helps with soreness. And listen, I'm always sore after my workouts. I do exercise six days a week, so I'm sore pretty much six days a week. And even that seventh day, my rest day, I have residual soreness, but the recovery from Motivate really helps with that. You can also take recovery pre-workout if you want that little boost of the BCAAs before your workout. And you can also take it during the day. You can use the recovery supplement whenever you feel like you need that extra recovery benefits. But like I said, it is my go-to every day post-workout. And then I utilize Motivate Burn. This is typically what I use as a pre-workout. It's going to give you energy, 
focus and helps with a little bit of a metabolism boost which nobody is mad about what's in the motivate barn is dandelion root this kind of acts as a mild appetite suppressant raspberry ketones which is the natural substance found in raspberry that helps break down fat cells and burn fat more effectively green tea extract which is full of antioxidants and then cla which is a naturally occurring fatty acid found in meat and dairy products it helps burn fat retain lean muscle and control type 2 diabetes so burn for me is either a pre-workout or something that i take mid-morning or early afternoon when i feel like i'm in that little bit of a slump i like to take the motivate burn to give me that little extra boost of energy the burn comes in a capsule form i have the capsules i utilize those typically when i travel it's just easier than having to worry about finding water and mixing in the little packets and they're equally as effective and then the burn comes in cherry lemonade, cotton candy, island punch, watermelon, mixed berry, orange burst, and then they have no stim, which is Miami lemonade and strawberry kiwi. Kiwi, the no stim does not have caffeine in it, but still gives you all of the burn benefits. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, get the no stim and you'll still get the energy, the focus and the extra metabolism boost and fat burning capabilities. It also does help moderate your appetite. So all of these things are really good about the burn. It's another supplement that I take every day. You can get the bundle, which is the motivate burn and the recovery for $79.99. And then you can use my code for an additional 20% off of that. So that's already $10 off the normal price. You can use the code for another 20% off. So killer cure, killer deal. So if you want to try out my two favorite Motivate products, the Recovery and the Burn, definitely utilize the Energy Bundle. It's a huge bang for your buck. So I'm going to finish my Motivate Recovery. Go! Get Palmer! Get him! Yeah! Get him, Lola! Go, 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 go! Go, Lola! You gonna get him? Get Palmer! Your brother has the zoomies. Yes, he has the zoomies. You can get him? Okay, I know, get Palmer. So I just finished my lunch and was actually responding to YouTube comments and I saw three separate comments about my Lumen. You guys are asking if I still use my Lumen. Yes, I do, I use this every single day. I've actually used this now for well over six months and I love this. Actually, when I did my Q&A a month and a half ago, one of the questions was, do I utilize the nutrition plan or recommendations that Lumen gives me? So. I wanted to give you guys an update now that it's been over six months of continuously using my Lumen. What have I noticed? What have I found? So I just ate my lunch and I just tested on the Lumen. So I'll insert all of those clips here for you. Everything is done on this little handy dandy device all through the Lumen app. You blow into the Lumen, hold your breath and then release your breath back into the Lumen. And it's going to tell you whether your body is mainly utilizing carbs or fat it, after your meals, your workout, your day, as your day goes on, what is your body utilizing most? Is it carbs or is it fat? So what I've found over the last six months is that post-workout, I am in massive fat burn mode, which makes perfect sense. Usually my workouts aren't fasted, but I usually only have a little bit of protein coffee or a small snack. So I'm in mega fat burning mode post-workout. And then as the day goes on, depending on the foods that I'm choosing, I can go from mostly fat burning to mild fat burning to full carb burning. What I also have found is how to structure my evening snack so that I wake up in the morning in fat burning mode. What Lumen does basically is provides you with a daily measurement of your source of energy, whether it's fat or carbs on a scale of one to five based on your blowing into the Lumen device. It's actually a comprehensive evaluation of your metabolism based on about four to eight weeks worth of measurements. And like I said, I've been using this every day for over six months. It's really going to help you learn your metabolism, which is so important in weight loss and maintaining that weight loss. The key factor in your metabolic health is metabolic flexibility. So this is the ability of the human body to switch back and forth between burning fat and carbohydrates based on what's available to your body. Some of the benefits of having a healthy metabolic flexibility is it's easier to lose weight. You have better sleep, optimized workout performance, you build lean muscle mass, better weight maintenance, and you feel energized and not sluggish. How we can change our metabolism and our metabolic flexibility is by the foods that we're choosing. When are we utilizing carbs in our diet? When are we utilizing protein in our diet? When are we 
exercising during the day, how is that impacting everything? This little device right here tells you all of the details. I could do a whole video on all the things I've learned from Lumen, but there's one thing I wanted to share with you that I have noticed a regular trend in, and that is if I have something before bed, so my dessert for the evening, my last meal before bed, my last snack before bed, if that contains a high amount of protein and a low amount of carbohydrates, I wake up in the morning in fat burning stage which makes perfect sense because as we're sleeping, our body is utilizing the fat stores in our body. If we eat something carby before bed, it's going to metabolize the carbohydrates before it starts to metabolize the fat. So that's one thing I've really noticed with the Lumen is the nights that I choose better options before bed, I wake up in complete fat burning stage and then I can get my workout in and maintain that fat burning stage throughout the day. It's just really interesting to see how different foods affect your results when you utilize your Lumen. And like I said, everything is done on the app, so it's very, very simple. Have a really good discount from Lumen for you. I actually reached out to them and got a discount for you guys. So I'll put all that information here on the screen. It'll be down in the description box for you. But if you wanna learn your body, increase your metabolism, learn what foods affect you, and everybody's different, so every person's going to be different, this little device is a game changer. It also offers nutrition information, tells you if you should have a high, low, or moderate carb day. It's really, really fantastic. It's so useful. It's portable. I take it with me when I travel. It really is one of the best in investments that I've made into my overall health. I'll link Lumen down below for you. For dinner tonight, we're having crock pot chili. This is giving me everything fall. I'm excited for this. Even though it's in the 90s here, we're still rocking with fall. So let me show you what you'll need. We're going to get this started so it has a chance to just simmer all day in the crock pot. So you're going to need brown sugar or brown sugar alternative of your choice. If using an alternative, highly recommend Lakanto Golden. I will link it down below for you with 15% off site-wide. You'll need minced garlic, tomato paste, beef broth, diced tomatoes, black beans, and then pinto beans, kidney beans, chili beans, whatever your preference. Lots of those traditional chili spices, paprika, oregano, chili powder, and cumin. A onion, two bell peppers, you can use any bell pepper of your choice. Salt and pepper, and then a pound of extra lean ground beef. So I've added my pound of ground beef and my onions to a skillet sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. We're just going to allow the ground beef to start to brown and the onions to soften. So I added in a huge scoop of garlic and I'm going to let that cook down while we finish browning the meat. I will drain all of the grease and then we are ready to start putting together our chili in the crock pot. So to get started on the chili, I went ahead and diced up my bell peppers. So we're going to add those. Our two cans of diced tomatoes or your one big 28 ounce can. I just bought two small cans. Our drained and rinsed black beans and kidney beans, pinto beans, again, whatever you're using. One cup of beef broth a can of tomato paste, and then all of our spices. So paprika, oregano, chili powder, and cumin, salt and pepper. And then lastly, a pinch of brown sugar. We're going to stir all of that together before we add in the ground beef, onion, and garlic mixture. Make sure you're kind of breaking up that tomato paste. It's pretty clumpy, and we want to disperse that amongst the mixture. And lastly, we're adding in the ground beef, onion, and garlic. And then stir that in as well. So we're gonna cover this up and you can cook this on low for six to eight hours or high for three to four hours. We're going to cook it on low because it, it's only about 9 a.m. So we have lots of time to let this cook for dinner. So it's about 10, 20 in the morning and I'm not hungry yet, but I could use a little more coffee. I just actually finished my Motivate Recovery and I'm going to make myself a cold brew. I have a coaching call here in about an hour and then after that we'll have some lunch. So this will kind of tide me over, sort of serve as my morning snack, but what I'm going to do is make a pumpkin sweet cream cold foam. This is something I've been 
really, really loving. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. It's kind of, it's really been my midday, mid-morning coffee. I haven't been buying coffee very often. I treat myself on the day I play pickleball. And then if I hike in Tucson, I'll go to my favorite place. But I've been saving a ton of money by making my own cold brew at home. So first is the cold brew. So I shared this a couple times with you guys. I use Drag Up. This is the only cold brew that I like. I think every other one is disgusting. I've tried so so many of them and every flavor I've tried from drag up is a 10 out of 10 I love the pumpkin AF that's actually what is in my pitcher and I picked up my cold brew pitcher right off of Amazon so that's my go-to for at-home cold brew I'll link everything down below for you and then I use some pumpkin puree heavy whipping cream, pumpkin pie spice, and then I love the Chalk Zero Vanilla Syrup. I shared this a long time ago with you guys. This doesn't have any weird ingredients in it. It's the cleanest option for a sugar-free or no sugar added vanilla syrup. Speaking of Chalk Zero, I have an order coming today. So I will link Chalk Zero down below with the discount and when my order shows up, I'll show you what I picked up. They release some fun Halloween stuff. And then I mix it up in a 32 ounce mason jar. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my cold brew. You can use as much or as little cold brew as you want. I usually fill my 32 ounce one a little about three quarters of the way full, just shy of three quarters of the way, because I want room for ice as well as the cold foam. And then I'm going to add to my cold brew, just a big scoop of pumpkin puree. And I just stir that right in to my cold brew. And then to make my cold foam, I do one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. I add in about a teaspoon of the Chalk Zero vanilla syrup and pumpkin pie spice to your liking. I like a lot. And then I froth that up, not all the way to a whipped cream consistency, kind of a loose whipped cream consistency. Give your cold brew one more quick stir with that pumpkin puree, and then add your cold foam. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, and it's going to be so pumpkin. And because we use the heavy whipping cream, for some reason it keeps me full. It must be the fat in the whipped cream. And then I'm just going to add some ice. So here is my pumpkin sweet cream cold foam. So I added the pumpkin to the cold brew. That just helps it mix in a little bit better. And then we get all the pumpkin vibes in the cold foam as well with the pumpkin pie spice. Drag up is so, so good. I would not drink cold brew. I would be spending $7 a day at Starbucks if I had to, if I would not have found Drag up. It is so, so, so good. It is not bitter. I love, love, love it. So I will mix in the cold foam a little bit in with the coffee. And I, of course, will link Drake up and my pitcher down below for you as well as Chalk Zero. So this is basically going to be my morning snack. You want a special bone? Palmer, special bone? Yes, I know, right? What cabinet my special bones are in? It's time for a special bone. So right now we've got the smart bones wrapped in real chicken. Here's what they look like. I actually just buy these on Amazon. I'll link them for you. So there's one for you. And one for you. Lunchtime. I'm hungry. I just got off of a coaching call. I have another one here in a couple hours. I'm going to have a sandwich. I have been on a mega sandwich kick lately, and I've been loving this Dave's Killer Bread, the thin sliced power seed. So I saw this TikTok where this nutritionist was talking about Dave's Killer Bread, and he was saying that the one with the green wrapper, so I don't know what it's called. It's probably some other type of seed. That one has way more sugar than this one. This one says total sugar is two grams with two grams of added and I want to say the green was double that so he was recommending the red wrapper and I just bought the thin slice it's 60 calories per slice you're going to get three grams of protein and three grams of fiber so I'm going to use two slices to make a sandwich and then I have some of the private selection wildflower honey turkey so I'm going to do three ounces of turkey a slice of reduced fat pepper jack cheese avocado in place of mayo. So this is going to serve as my condiment. And then I've been craving cucumber. So I'm going to do some mini cucumbers. All right, here's my lunch. I have my sandwich with my turkey, cheese, avocado. I put a lot of avocado on there. 60 grams of avocado. And then I have some cucumbers as a side. 
So for afternoon snack, I'm making a yogurt bowl, but we are doing a fall pumpkin spice yogurt bowl. I actually made this the other day and it's really one of the best yogurt bowls I've ever had. So let me show you what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna start with the Trader Joe's non-fat Greek yogurt in pumpkin, obviously. And then from Trader Joe's, I have the pumpkin spiced Pumpkin seeds, spoiler alert, big Trader Joe haul coming your way Saturday, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon of the pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds. I have hemp hearts. I'm going to put a little bit of those. And then for a crunch, we're gonna do the Special K pumpkin spice. This is so good. I always have to have a crunchy component in my yogurt bowl. I need that texture. And this one is delicious. And then, of course, we're gonna top it with more pumpkin. This is the favorite day pumpkin spice oat milk whipped topping. I'm telling you, if you love pumpkin, this is amazing. So let me put together the bowl and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Look at this beauty. I topped it with just a tiny bit of pumpkin pie spice. I'm telling you, if you love pumpkin as much as I do, this is a pumpkin dream with protein. So I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. Three hours later. So the chili is done. It is ready to go. It smells so incredibly good in here. This looks amazing. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. So the entire crock pot only makes eight servings. So you get a good amount per serving, a little over a cup. And then I topped it with a couple tablespoons of this aged cheddar blend, just regular cheese. I really like the thicker cut cheese. So all the information is here on the screen for you. My Chalk Zero order just came and we are gonna taste test their Halloween release. Part of my order was the marshmallows. Now I love these. I actually ordered two bags. These are the mini marshmallows, vanilla flavored. They're 50 calories per serving and they have no added sugar. So zero sugar added, really, really good taste, just like regular marshmallows, a much more healthy option, especially when it comes to calories and sugar. Now there is still some carbohydrates in there and then of course one gram of protein, but I love these. If you love marshmallows, if you love Rice Krispie treats, we made Rice Krispie treats in the past with these, so good. So I actually ordered two bags and then they have two really fun Halloween releases. Look at how cute this tin is. This is the Milk Pecan patties. Now each one is 90 calories. Let me show you what they look like. So they look like this. They're really, really good sized for the 90 calories. Let me show you. Look at that. I mean, they're thick and they're big and these are pecan patties. So I want to try these out. I love the Halloween tin. Look, oh my goodness. These are gonna be my dessert tonight. So I'm going to have one of the pecan patties. It reminds me of a candy that you would buy at one of those really fancy candy stores. Oh my goodness, yum. And a low sugar option that tastes like the real thing. This is a winner. And like I said, the packaging, so cute. This would make such a good gift for someone. I'm still eating that pecan patty, so good. I forgot to mention the marshmallows are gluten-free, keto, and fat-free. And then look at this, how fun is this cookie tin. This is the Dunkies chocolate and cream cookies. They're zero grams of added sugar. They are keto and gluten-free as well. Look at that. They look like the cookies from Trader Joe's, the JoJo's, the Halloween JoJo's with the orange filling. They smell amazing. Let's try these out. I'm going to have one of these as well. Two cookies, 130 calories. I was going to say that I taste a little bit of a coconut vibe. That's because they're made with coconut flour. So you do get that little bit of coconut. If you don't like coconut or coconut flour, you probably wouldn't like them, but I think they're really good. They're sweetened with monk fruit. Again, two cookies, 130 calories. You even get two grams of protein. So this is really a perfect Halloween treat. If you have somebody in your life who's on a weight loss journey or a health journey, does keto, is gluten-free, wants to watch their sugar, Fantastic options, and again, the packaging, super cute, and then the marshmallows, love the marshmallow. I will link Chalk Zero down below with the disc. Everything is really, really good, so that was my dessert tonight. One Dunky, one Chalk Zero pecan cluster. Thank you for 
joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. Don't forget, I will link Motivate, the Lumen, everything else I shared for you with you down below with all the discounts and information, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, and come join my Facebook group. We'd love, love, love to have you. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Happy Wednesday, and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye.